guys, this isn't a tutorial video, but um, I really wanted to do something about extending the life of your child's hairstyle. And if I seem like I'm rushing, I am because I have to go to work in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Step number one, you need to pick a durable style, okay? This is the basis of extending the life of your child's hairstyle. If you, what do I mean by durable? You need to pick a style that matches your child's hair texture and activity level. But just because your child is 12 and doesn't have recess anymore, it does not mean that they're necessarily mature enough to understand how the things that they're doing is affecting their hairstyle. As a rule of thumb, if your child is not old enough to do her own hair, she probably is not old enough to have a hairstyle that is not durable. Some examples of durable hairstyles, so again, by texture. So if your child has very tightly curled hair, which would be a shrinkage level of like blue, you really wanna to stick to twists, two strand twists. That's gonna be the most durable hairstyle. If your child has a looser curl pattern, say uh, purple or um, pink, then you're going to want to stick with box braids. And those are three strand braids, you know, the straight up braids that we all learned how to do when we first learned how to braid hair. And for either hair texture or whatever hair texture your child has, the amount of curl that they have, um, the bubble ponytails are going to be really durable for both types of hair. Number two. Medium is just right. The smaller the sections of your daughter's hair are, the longer the style will last, okay? So smaller equals longer lasting. Now, does that mean that we recommend having like super tiny cornrows and mini twists and mini braids? Absolutely not, okay? Because although the smaller the sections are, the longer will last, there is a downside to that as well. So the first reason why we really never do super small sections in our daughter's hair is that um, the smaller the section, the easier it's gonna be for you to accidentally pull too tightly on your daughter's hair, okay? And you definitely don't wanna be pulling on your daughter's hair and under any circumstances, especially when you're installing a hairstyle that's going to last for a long amount of time. The second thing is that that um, the smaller the sections are, the more time investment it is to put them in. And my, both my sister and I are really busy and um, we're just not willing to commit three whole days of doing hair, you know, so that the style will last a, a week or two longer. You know, for us, it's not worth it. Um, and then the third thing is that the more precious your child's hairstyle is, so by precious, I mean just like the nicer it is, you know, it's little delicate, tiny sections and all of that, the less likely you are to want to wet the hair, okay? And moisture is really important when it comes to length retention. The solution, if you haven't already figured it out, based on the title of this number, is that you need to pick medium sections, okay? Medium sections, so not super small and not super big. Medium sections have the benefit of being both durable and easy to put in. And another huge benefit to having medium sections is that if the hair needs to be touched up in between washes, if you don't have time to go through your whole wash routine, it can easily be redone super quickly. I'm talking less than an hour, even for long hair. So medium, I cannot say enough for that size section. Number three, make sure that your child wears a scarf to bed or sleeps on a scarf. If your child will let you, and as I mentioned in a previous video, my younger daughter refuses to wear a scarf to bed. If your child will let you, um, be sure to put a scarf on at night. You know, I know sometimes it's a pain and you don't want to take those extra few seconds to do it. But if you can, just put a scarf on. That's going to help keep the style in place. It's also going to help reduce the amount of limp buildup and the amount of pulling that's happening if she's just sleeping on the cotton pillow. If your child refuses to wear a, a scarf at night 
or if the scarf tends to fall off at night because she's a really wild sleeper or if you know yourself and you know that just remembering every night to put a scarf on your child's hair is not something that you're going to do just get a satin sheet set not a satin pillow okay these are not adults these are children so while satin pillows will work for an adult for kids not gonna happen okay they're all over the place get satin sheets okay so that way if their head is on the pillow they're covered if they roll around in the bed their hair is still covered and again it's not going to hold the hair in place as well as wearing a scarf, obviously, because, you know, it's still rubbing around, but it's going to reduce the amount of lint buildup and it's going to reduce the amount of um, wear and tear that the hairstyle is going through in between your wash or styling sessions. Okay, number four, just add water. I cannot say enough about water. And I think I've mentioned water in like two out of the previous three steps that I've gone through already okay water is so important for keeping your child's hair looking and feeling soft okay putting oil or grease in your child's hair without wetting it first is like putting lotion on your skin without taking a bath okay it's just going to sit on the surface so yeah it might be a little shiny for a little while but it's going to easily rub off because it hasn't absorbed into the skin same thing with your hair you cannot just put oil on top of your hair and expect that it's going to make it soft and shiny for any extended period of time okay the best thing to do just spray your child's hair with water put a little bit of oil on it um, especially on the ends and you can really just use that as a way to smooth the style out in between washes and just really on a daily basis another favorite thing of mine to do is when you're spraying your um, child's hair with water or letting them wet their hair while they're in the shower once you seal in that moisture with some oil or a butter or grease make sure that you just kind of like take a really soft brush or your fingers depending on the texture of your child's hair and just kind of smooth it down and then um put a scarf on and just let it sit for like 10-15 minutes and it really helps to make the look of the hair much neater. Number five, embrace accessories. Okay, I don't know if it's psychological, you know, it could be me. Maybe I'm a little off, but I kind of feel like when you put an accessory in, it just gives new life to a hairstyle. Even if the hair really should be done over again okay so the first thing that i really like to do are headbands okay so again you can use the previous technique with um, a headband and it's going to make the hairstyle look all the more neater and it's really going to help when you have like these straight hairs that kind of get um loose around the edges of the hairline without having to constantly like brush it and pull on it it's just like a really gentle easy way to make that section that part of the hair look a little neater the other thing to do are ponytails or elastics so you know pulling the hair all up again um and just putting it up on top of their head Again, I just feel like it brings new life to the hairstyle and really helps to stretch it out a couple more days. Um, you can do both of those together, headband plus putting it in a ponytail, and you can combine both of those steps or either of those steps with the previous one of sort of like wetting the hair and setting it with a scarf. And when you do the, both, the two together, it really does make the hair look a whole lot neater. The last thing that you guys all need to keep in mind is to extend your patience okay extending the life of your child's hair style is all about extending your patience at the end of the day okay none of these tips are going to make your child look like they have a team of stylists on call they're not there will be strands out of place yes unfortunately there will okay but remember these are children we're talking about this hair channel is geared towards children and kids and quite frankly they should be spending their time enjoying their childhood, not worrying about their hair and what they can or cannot do because of their hairstyle. You can't compare how easy it is for you to keep your hair neat as it is for your child to keep their hair neat, okay? You spend the majority of your time sitting at a desk or at a computer doing very little physical activity. Your child, on the other hand, should be playing, getting dirty, making messes, 
none of those things are easy on her hairstyle so please try to just take a step back breathe and remember in the long run it's just hair hope this helps and i'll see you guys next time have a great day Next time on Confident Girls Beautiful Curls, Crystal will show you how she achieved these stretch curls without using any heat.